This is Brandon Funston, Yahoo Sports. I'm going to talk about three starting pitchers you can target in the late rounds of your fantasy drafts that I really like. And the first guy I want to talk about is Tampa Bay Ray, Drew Smiley. If you look at what he's done in Tampa Bay over the past two years, 19 starts, has delivered an ERA of two and a half, a whip right around one, uh, and a K per nine rate of nine and a half. Those are ace level numbers. The caveat here is he hasn't been that healthy. Last year he was limited to just 60 innings. Um, but if he's healthy, he can deliver a, a big time uh, return on your investment. Another guy I like is Kenta Maeda, the Japanese import, won the equivalent of the Cy Young Award in the Japanese leagues last year. Now his stuff's considered kind of solid, not spectacular, but it plays up because he's such a great guy in terms of location. Uh, he's 27 years old. I think he's very safe. He's going outside the top 230 picks in fantasy. He's not a power guy, but I think he compares to a guy like Hisashi Iwakuma, a guy that can deliver you a low three RA, solid ratios, pick up a dozen or more wins, and be serviceable in strike. I think he's very safe, and I like him a lot better than the other guys that are going in that range in fantasy drafts. And finally, let's stay with the Far East theme here and go with Wee Yin Chen, a former Baltimore Orioles starter, moving over to the Miami Marlins in the National League. Now, you always love the American League pitcher going to the National League gets to face the pitcher uh, now instead of the DH. That's a big boost in the numbers. But even if Chen delivers as he has the past couple years in Baltimore, he was the number 37 fantasy starter last year, number 47 starter the year before. He's going outside the top 60 starters in drafts uh, right now. So even if he delivers as he has, he's a value. But I think getting out of the AL East, where three of the top four offenses in the league last year were in the AL East, there were teams that Chen had to face. Now he gets to face the likes of the Philadelphia Phillies and Atlanta Braves, two of the worst offenses in the league. It's a big time boost getting out of the AL East, going to the NL East, and also getting to face those pitchers. I think Chen has great value potential. All three of these guys going outside the top 200 in fantasy drafts, I think they could be great steals for your fantasy team.